This is how it started. I was minding my own business when this flew into my life. Here's a little story about what happened to me one evening. Oh my God. three of them and I've got my binoculars and oh my god it's just so exciting they are literally just over there okay the most amazing thing has happened three I'm gonna say sparrowhawks although I just saw a picture of one and oh, I took a close-up of it and it didn't have a yellow eye and that's the famous thing about sparrowhawks is that they have got a yellow eye they just flew straight past my bedroom window and now they are flying somewhere over the gardens and I've just been let in. Two other students just got into the gardens to try and hunt Pokemon. I'm here trying to hunt hawks. Um, I don't know where they are, but I've got my binoculars. And now I'm just going on a bird hunt. <gasps> this is just so exciting. I was watching Netflix and they literally just went straight past my window. Must have been no more than two meters away from my window, swooped around about two or three times and there's three of them and they're like chasing each other in the air. I don't know what's going on, I don't know. Well, there's one. Right, this is biology in action. So, what do I know? I know that they're a bit too big to be a kestrel. I know that they're not, I think they're too small to be buzzards, far too small to be buzzards. Which leaves me with sparrowhawk or peregrine. I've never seen a peregrine. Um, Sparrowhawks are mid size They've got the same patterning on the tail as these ones. The kind of stripy patterning on the tail, but but sparrowhawks are famous for having a bright yellow eye. And the one that I saw, I don't know if it was a juvenile or something, but I imagine juvenile eye colour doesn't vary that much. Obviously I ran out far too fast to get a bird book. Um, I'm just hoping they've stopped screaming, unfortunately. So I don't quite know where they are. I'm hoping they'll start flying again. Oh, there they are, so I can get a better look. Oh, there it is. Okay, this is bloody difficult trying to catch them on camera. I'm much better at finding things through binoculars than I am through a zoomed in camera lens. So hopefully at least I can get a good view of them myself and describe it to you. <laughs> oh my god, I don't know. I've never I've never seen anything like this. I've never seen groups of birds of prey before. Um I've only ever seen them solitary and I thought they must be like killing a pigeon or something from the noise that they were making. I've also posted on Instagram hopefully someone can identify this bird whilst I can still see it. I feel so bad for not knowing what it is, but the department I work in, despite the fact I work on flies, is an ornithology department. So if anyone's gonna know what it is, it's gonna be someone in my followers. I can definitely hear them. There it is, there it is. Yes, they're back. No, that's just a very scared pigeon. Um, I would be a scared pigeon too if there were these three beautiful birds around. I just, yeah, I can't believe I don't know what it is. I feel like such a bad naturalist right now. But hey, I also know how to use modern technology. So hopefully I can find out in not too much time at all. If it's native, it's either a peregrine or a sparrowhawk. Maybe it's a peregrine. I just don't know what peregrines look like. If it is a peregrine, then peregrines are the fastest animal on the planet because they fly above their prey. I think it's usually pigeons. And then they just fold their wings in, become as aerodynamic as possible and plummet downwards using gravity. And so they fly down and have gravity pulling them down. I think they can get up to like 200 miles an hour or something ridiculous. Um, so if it's a peregrine, that's very cool. Never seen one before. I'm fairly certain you get peregrines in Oxford. More likely to be a sparrowhawk. Although where I live back at home, we pretty much only get 
buzzards. We get the odd sparrowhawk, but if in doubt, it's a buzzard. But yeah, it's that eye that's really putting me off. Sparrowhawks famously have this brilliant piercing yellow eye that these ones just didn't have. Oh, I know, I can tag Andy Gosler. Right, Andy Gosler is like amazing when it comes to birds. Well, I mean, he is an ornithologist professionally, um, but he's also super into natural history. And if anyone will know what this is, it will be him. Just flown overhead. They are somewhere in this tree. Oh my God. Oh, they're really close. Oh, I can't see them though. You can hear them. That's what. Sparrowhawks are piercing yellow or orange irises. This is what I'm looking for. Still got a yellow eye. It's not kestrel. Ah, it's not peregrine. It's too big for a merlin. But merlins and other falcons always have all dark eyes. Definitely not a goshawk. Okay, so I'm now trying to watch back the bit and look really closely at the eyes. I can't see any yellow. Let's watch that again. I mean, the pupils could just be really dilated but there's no yellow there why is there no yellow why is there no yellow it's just the yellow everything else about it tells me it's a sparrowhawk everything else the size the color the shape where we are everything else screams sparrowhawk Okay, Andy Gosler has spoken. He says it's definitely an Akipta species. And seeing as I'm in Oxford, it must be a sparrowhawk. But look, must be a sparrowhawk sure doesn't look right in that pig. Exactly what I was thinking, Andy. Maybe the pig is just lying to me. Maybe I shouldn't have followed the picture. But that's the closest image I've got because I didn't have time to get my binoculars when it was that close. Everything else is telling me sparrowhawk. Now Andy's telling me, I, I believe it, 100%. He is the king of birds. Um, oh, 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 beautiful view. Oh, binoculars time. Let's try back with binoculars. Oh, it's beautiful though. Absolutely beautiful. I'm so happy I just sat and waited. They just love that copper beach. This is the first time I've got a clear view of it in the tree though. Maybe there's some weird black-eyed mutant in Oxford. Or maybe I've discovered a new subspecies in Oxford. I don't know, I mean, I think sparrowhawks are normally daytime hunters. I've only ever heard about them in the daytime. I know we've had them occasionally at home, I think. Oh, oh, perfect view, perfect view. Stay there, stay there. God, I wish the zoom on this was faster. get a better view through my camera and through my binoculars.
What are they hunting for at this time of night? Bats? I don't know. There aren't that many birds around. It's a perfect time for bats. Now not only Andy Gosler, but Ben Sheldon, who is probably the other king of birds, has spoken. It is 100% juvenile sparrowhawk. So excited. It's still sitting just up there. The other two have buggered off somewhere. God knows where they've gone. Hunting bats? I don't know. I, I've never seen them out this late. I mean, I've never properly seen them. I thought they were bigger. It's getting quite dark. I am getting flies are going in my eyes for the moisture. And I think I'm going to call it a night because the other two have disappeared. But that was <laughs> bird watching with Sally LePage. Um, if you like that sort of thing, watch Spring Watch because it's a kind of a more professional version of this, not just me running around going, ooh, ooh, is it a peregrine or is it a sparrowhawk? Who knows? Let's look for yellow. Um, yeah, I just thought this would be a really fun thing to film because I was so excited. It's a bit haphazard compared to my other videos. I don't even know which channel I'll put it on. We'll see. Um, go out hunting. Hunting as in this kind of hunting, not actually killing them. Um, see what animals you can spot. Always send me pictures of animals on like Twitter or Instagram. Um, I, I won't necessarily ID them for you. If you want them ID'd, I've got another video on that. Go to iNaturalist. Um, but I just like unsolicited pictures of animals. Someone's been sending me pictures of their lorikeet, no not lorikeet, um, lovebird. It's great. I just randomly get pictures of this lovebird every now and again. It's wonderful. It really cheers me up. Um, so feel free to send me pictures of wildlife and uh, go out and happy wildlife spotting. <laughs>